you are now tuned in to one of the best damn workout videos on the whole internet. If you don't know, my name is DJ Anthony, aka Jixit, and you read the description, so you know in this video we have a 15 minute ab workout. All right, all right. So in this workout, I am going to use a 15 pound dumbbell for all of the exercises. Now, most of the exercises. Now. If you don't have a dumbbell or if the dumbbell is too much for you, you can do these exercises without a weight. All right. So what we got on the program today is we got seven exercises that we're going to do three times each. Each exercise is going to last for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest period in between each exercise. All right. So we're going to do each one three times. Boom. And when we get done, it'll take 15 minutes. All right. Good. So, uh, I need you to do a favor for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And in the comment section, drop a comment to help out my analytics. Don't have to be a whole sentence. Don't have to be a paragraph. It can be an emoji. Thumbs up, flame, weightlifting, muscle, smile, hard eyes, poop emoji. Whatever you want to do, just drop one emoji. Help your boy out. Cool? Thanks. Now, if you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down and tell me why you dislike this video. And help me improve so I can be a better videographer all right so do your warm-up get your towel for your sweat get your water for your hydration come back and be ready to go i'll see you then Peace. all right y'all it's a great day for a great workout thank you for selecting my video all right we're gonna start seated with our v-sit using our weight for resistance here holding it over your head arms are as straight as possible now modification with the weight if you need it you can bring it down to chest height and hold it there if holding it overhead is too much if you're not using your weight and you still need a modification you can just hold your thighs whatever you got to do shoulder good first one is over we got two more to go uh, just want to make sure we try our best no matter which way we doing it so all we are use what you have do what you can all right round two now if you are in very good shape you can also straighten your legs here like point your toes up into a real V. I'm actually proud of myself because a couple weeks ago I was struggling with this V sit and today it's going pretty well. Good two down. One more to go. Remember we are doing three of everything. One of those threes. And round three let's go make sure that you are breathing keeping your back as straight as you can and you just gotta fight it sometimes in your mind your mind be telling you to stop but your body is still going so you just gotta block out that negativity and keep going keep fighting for five seconds two one good all right we got a new exercise coming up we're gonna do a V sit with the dumbbell here so now your modification is just bending your knees bringing the the weight to your knees and don't hit yourself with the weight but otherwise we're trying to get that dumbbell all the way up to the toes looks like I'm making it to my calf muscle hopefully one day I'll be back to my toes and if you're doing the modified version and that is too much you can do one leg at a time or even if you're using the weight and you need a little modification you can just bring one leg up at a time so we are you just have to do what you can so you get better and next round 
Let's go. This round. I done lost count already, y'all. It's gotta be round two. We just started. Also, try not to let your feet or the dumbbell touch the floor in between your reps. That makes it a little bit more challenging and a little bit more, uh, you get the benefit out of it more. I forgot, what word did I want to use? I don't know. All right, round three. Let's get it, let's get it. Whatever version you are doing, just do the best of that version. And then when you come back and do this later, you might be doing a different version. And then you'll be like, I remember when I could do that. That's one of the best parts about training. When you get somebody to somewhere where they didn't think that they can be. Just follow my guidance, grasshopper. Three, three, two, one. Good. New exercise coming up, but don't worry. You ain't got to move much. We're going to do some toe touches. So you want your feet uh, above your hips here. You don't want to bring your feet close to your hands. You want your feet straight up. You want to have to. You want to have to put in the effort to get to your toes. You don't want to just be sitting there easy. You got to go get it. Go get. Go get. Go get. Go get your blessing. That's a gospel song, but I don't listen to much gospel, so good. But every video, you know, I always got something to come with a song. If you you done did more than one workout with me, you know every video got a song or or more song or a few songs. All right, round three, two. Yeah, round two. Uh, and also do not bring the dumbbell behind your head this time keep the dumbbell right over the chest it's okay if you have to stop for a second to catch your breath do that then come right back into it and good two down one more to go uno mas that's Spanish for one more. And last one. Let's go on and bust it out. You might get a little tired here, but that's alright. You're supposed to be tired when you're exercising. You're supposed to be tired. Uh oh, y'all know what's coming. To get what you never had, you gotta do what you never done. And when you're tired, that means you're going beyond what's normal. And that's how you get your strength. Good. All right, new exercise, torso rotation. I close my eyes on this one so I don't get dizzy. So if you need to do that, that's fine. You're just gonna twist side to side, keeping the dumbbell right in the center of your body so don't dip the dumbbell from one side to the other keep it right in the middle of your body while you're doing the exercise make sure you are breathing and the further that you lean back the harder or more challenging this exercise is More you lean back puts more emphasis on your abs round two coming up and let's go make sure you're breathing get you a good twist on each side a pretty simple one ain't much I need to tell you just keep going <laughs> good 
All right. One more round of that coming up. And then we'll have a new exercise, which is going to be a side plank. Spoiler alert. Side plank coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathing, turning, twisting, working, hurting. Now remember, if any time you feel lightheaded, dizzy, nauseated, chest pain, shortness of breath, or see any stars during your workout, you should stop immediately. Those are danger signs. Good. All right. Side plank coming up. And we're going to use the weight as resistance on our hip right here for the side plank so we're going to do three times on one side and then we're going to switch over and do three times on the other side so we started on for either side whatever side you want to start on it don't matter doesn't really matter what i that was Janet Jackson's song. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now, if you need a modification, you can do this one without the weight. If that is still too much, you can bring your bottom knee down to the floor. And let's go. So if you have to bring that bottom leg to the floor, just bend the leg, bring the knee down. And that'll give you a little modification. One more time on this side before we switch. I bet y'all are doing great right now. I already know. And let's go. You gotta, you guys gotta lock in on this side plank. You just gotta lock in, zone out, and just go to work. You gotta be conscious of your hips. <laughs> Or getting closer to the ground and lift them back up but if you're shaking that's fine cuz I was shaking two one I think I was shaking more on this other side like I felt my whole body shaking so if you shaking it's all right your boy mr. athletic was uh, shaking too it's normal don't feel bad Just keep going use your modification if you have to let's hold breathe that's all good since I ain't got nothing to say, I'm just going to remind y'all about your modifications. We can bring the bottom knee down. Don't think I'm encouraging you to do it, but just in case you need it, you can bring the bottom knee down or you can put the weight down. Be stronger than your mind. Your mind be telling you to stop sometime, but your body still be going. You just gotta be like, why do I wanna stop? Like, you don't really wanna stop. Your brain be wanting you to stop, but your body be like, nah, I got this, cool. Good. Last one coming up, and then we got a crazy, we got a crazy last exercise for the day. Oh, something. Oh, it's crazy, yo. And last side plank. Let go. Hold it. 
breathe. I'm struggling, I'm shaking. So if you're struggling and shaking, just so know it's normal. Everybody who watching this video is struggling and shaking. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, now you can put your weight down and we're gonna sit on our bottom and do some flutter kicks. L sit flutter kicks. So that means we're gonna sit up on these flutter kicks. This is extremely difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the heads up. So do the best that you can. Now eventually your legs get heavy and you can only do one leg at a time. It's totally okay. But I just want you to do the best that you can. You do want your hands up by your knees as close to on the floor by your knees as possible. And I know that may be asking a lot. So wherever you can put them, put them. But the ultimate goal is to have them by your knees. It takes a little bit of ab strength and flexibility to pull that off. So just do the best that you can. Make sure that you're breathing. If you're doing one leg at a time, that's okay. You just feel to get better. And apparently this is gonna help you get better. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we're here to the last ab exercise of the day. Not to get done. Three, two, one. All right, last one. Let's get it. Last 30 seconds. So make sure you hit the comments and tell me if if you felt the effects of this exercise of this um routine. How did it work for you? If anything was hard, if anything was easy. Let me know, give me that feedback. It's always welcome, no matter how harsh it is. Hold on for three, two, one, and you are finished. I'm sure you did a great job. If you got more energy and you wanna do another workout, you can click one of these videos here. And if you have not subscribed, hit that little circle in the middle and subscribe. But Otherwise, until next time, see ya.